Hello, what I'm going to do is talk about singleton, which is a design pattern. To start with, let me briefly explain what a design pattern actually is. Christopher Alexander says, each pattern describes a problem which occurs over and over again in our environment and then describes the core of the solution to that problem in such a way that you can use this solution a million times over without ever doing it the same way twice. Design patterns make it easier to reuse successful designs and architectures. They help us choose design alternatives that make a system reusable and avoid alternatives that compromise reusability. Singleton is a design pattern that ensures that a class only has one instance and provides a global point of access to it. It is sometimes important for some classes to have exactly one instance. For example, there should be only one file system and one window manager. But how do we ensure that a class has only one instance and that the instance is easily accessible? Well, the answer is the singleton pattern. Singleton makes the class itself responsible for keeping track of its sole instance. The class can ensure that no other instance can be created simply by intercepting requests to create new objects and it can provide a way to access the instance. In this picture you can see how the class diagram looks like. The unique instance class variable holds our one and only instance of singleton. The getInstance method is static, which means it is a class method, so we can conveniently access this method from anywhere in our code. Finally, we should realize that a class implementing the singleton pattern is more than a singleton. It is a general purpose class with its own set of data and methods. I have written a very simple program to show you how to apply the singleton pattern. As you can see, the program consists of just one button. When I press the button, a new JFrame with the current date and time is opened. This is the method that is called every time we press the button. As you can see, every time I press the button, a new object, which is the JFrame, is created. So, at the moment, I can create as many objects as I want. Now, let's say that for some reason we need to create one and only one instance. How can we do this? Well, let's try to apply the singleton pattern. This is my class from which I was creating the objects. This class extends JFrame, which means an instance of this class is a JFrame. In the constructor, I simply say that the current date and time are displayed in the JFrame. Now, firstly, I am going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it unique instance. This variable is going to be private, static, and the type of the variable is my singleton which, as you can see, is the name of the class itself. This means that this variable is going to hold an instance, our only instance of this class. What we need to do next is to ensure that no one outside of this class will be able to create an instance of this class. All we need to do is to change the constructor from being public to private. So, from now on, no one can create an object of this class. The last thing we need to do is to create an access point, a method, that we are going to call in order to get the unique instance of this class. I'm gonna call it getInstance and it must be public, static, and the return type is my singleton, which says that it returns an instance of this class. Now, I am just going to add an if statement, where if I call this method for the first time, a new instance of this class is created and returned. If I call this method for the second, third time, I will simply return the already created unique instance. And this is all we need. Back to the main program, as you can see, I'm getting an error when I try to create an instance of my singleton class. So I'm going to change this and call the new method instead. Here we go. So let's run the program again. Now, as you can see, I can click as many times as I want, but I still get the only instance of my singleton class. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the screencast and thank you for watching.